Hey guys, happy Thursday, Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Um, really exciting day. There is a fun package coming for the S4. Very excited, as you can see. Nothing's really changed since you guys last saw it. Looks the same. Please pardon the S4 mod delay. Um, I've had other projects going on, which I kind of want to like document on this YouTube channel. I've been working on this thing. Basically every day, this is where my money's been going. Me and my fiance started doing some house renovations. We're trying to move in soon, so all of my attention has been um, focused on this house. I do want to start filming some stuff just to put it out there. Even if it is just for myself, for my fiance down the road, we can just watch these videos. Uh, I do want to document it a little bit. So after the clips of the S4, I'm going to drop in some home renovation clips at the end of this video. Uh, I'm just working on a backsplash because we're renovating our kitchen. But yeah, uh, the package should arrive soon. And there it is. In Bree's car. Dun 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 dun. There she is. She's gigantic. She's huge. She's so light. Thank you. Jesus. There she is. Can you guys tell what it is? I've been trying to find these Maxton side skirt uh, diffusers literally since I bought this car like a year ago. They're sold out, they've been sold out, they've been on back order for November, got pushed back to January of 2021, but I was able to source some on the marketplace literally like a year later. So uh, this is kind of a big deal. I got a used set from this homie in Texas. Thank you to you, Mark. I'm gonna check this out, maybe put it up right now and uh, we'll see how good it looks. All right, here they are. So these are, let me take a seat here. So these are the ABS, um, the ABS ones. Obviously the, the carbon fiber would have been ideal here or even the gloss black, but beggars can't be choosers and I'm lucky I got a set of uh, the ABS um, diffusers. So I don't know if I have any screws or hardware to, to uh, mount them up. I know that these were actually, so these were sitting in um, Mark's at, so these were sitting in Mark's basement, just collecting dust. So he reached out to me and said, yo, I know you're looking for these, so I gladly picked them up. I know a lot of uh, B5 S4 guys don't really like these, but um, I have the Ryger front bumper and it sits really low and I've always thought that the side skirts needed something. There's not a lot of options for this car for aero, so uh, super stoked on these. Might even color match them red, I don't know yet. I'm gonna see if I can uh, mount them up and then take some pictures. All right, guys, check it out. Pretty nice. They fit pretty good, not perfect, but pretty good. Look at that. Oh, kind of sweaty because it's a, a very hot summer day. But I learned from my last video that this garage is awful lighting. There it is. I'm gonna do the other side now. I went ahead and I fastened it. Um, let me know if you think I should color match them. I kind of feel like the black works with the roof and the roof rack and the rain guards, but uh, part of me also wants to pla no, plastic it. Part of me also wants to paint them red, so let me know. And I was telling you guys why I wanted this diffuser is because I have the Ryger front bumper and it sits really low, but now it's pretty even. I might even like toss in a, a like a really low profile lip. Just to match, you know, maybe some side spl um, some rear splats too. Pretty sure Will has some leftover ABS, so I can make one. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I love it. I think it looks aggressive, and I feel like this car needs a little more aero. So uh, yeah. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Like I said, I'm gonna throw in some um, home renovation at the end of this video, and you guys let me know if you think I should paint these, if I should leave them black. Also, let me know if you like the house videos. So yeah. I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, it really means a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, I'm gonna attempt to subway tile my kitchen. As you can see, we're renovating, we got new counters, we got new sink, we paint, actually we just painted the cabinets. But uh, I'm gonna attempt to subway tile, have my YouTube video up, and let's see how it goes. It's like 33 bucks for all the tiles for the backsplash. All right, so I didn't film anything because it's my first time doing this, I'm not a pro, and, and it took me super long just to do this, but I just took out the little, whatever these things are called, and, and it looks pretty good, honestly. 
It looked a little wonky at first. I'm doing this without a laser, without like any like guide or anything. But um, once I took all the little spacers out, I used a, a flathead and adjusted some of the spacing. And honestly, I'm kind of happy with how it came out. I didn't film much, but um, I'm gonna document as I go. And hopefully tomorrow or something, we'll have this entire kitchen done. These cabinets were all brown, all brown. They're black now and the white on top. This window is white, so it's definitely coming along. And I just wanted to pick up the camera and film it. Windows beige. <laughs>